Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, Ravens. Today I am bringing you a special cast video for the Sims of Love collab that was put to place by a large group of YouTubers and Twitch users and Twitter users and we all got together and decided that for Valentine's Day we were going to be doing a collab for you guys. So everyone is sending out their Valentine's Day collab special all at um, this time in their perspective time zones um, throughout the world. So if you are new to the channel, thanks for joining. My name is Misty. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you are notified when new things go live on the channel. I do Let's Plays, cast videos, build videos, and much more. And I am gonna say let's go ahead and jump into the video. I also just want to give a special thanks to the host of the collab and to let you guys know in the description box below there will be a link to my Tumblr page and in the link there will be a list of all of the um, wonderful creators that were a part of this collab as well as a link that is going to provide you a um, place to go to get not only the sim in this video as well as the build and I am also uploading it on the gallery so that you will have access to the build and the sim as well as all the CC links. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. I will give you guys a little bit of insight on what I was thinking for the build as well as what I was thinking for the sim. And then from there, I'm just gonna let you sit back and enjoy the music and enjoy your Valentine's Sims of Love collab video. So for the build, I wanted to give it a sort of Barbie doll house look. <clears throat> and it is just a bedroom. I didn't want to go all red, even though this is a Valentine's collab. I did want to give it pops of red, pops of pink, some white, some black, all of the kind of Valentine's colors that you think of. And I wanted to give her a space that was kind of romanticized <clears throat> because I do look at Valentine's Day as a romanticized holiday, but also she's a teenage girl looking for love. So as you can see, it's very, um, with the mural, it's got those colors, the reds, the pinks, the oranges, and it's very whimsical and I find romantic. <clears throat> And then she's got that tiered uh, bedroom space where her bed goes on to and I wanted this room to have a really just modern look to it so she's got her separated bed area where she can sit and she can read in her little nooked area but then she's got her desk area and a city sitting area for her to kind of sit and watch television and have friends over if she wants um, she does have like a little reading nook area where she can sit in her little, um, I gave her like a little, um, swing there that she can sit on. And so I do pull in areas of like whimsical. I gave her a whimsical teen but modernish room. Um, just, you can tell that she's very romantic. You can tell that by the paintings that I give her, by the swings that I give her, and just all of the things that I kind of pull in with the colors and how her room is just set up. She's a dreamer. She likes to read her books and she likes to, you know, she's a dreamer. She's a romantic at heart and she just wants to find love. And, you know, I hoped that in this bedroom it would show that in her personality that she was that girl that would sit in her room, whether it be in her chair, at her desk, on her bed, in her swing, and she would curl up with a book and she would dream about love that she would read in her romance novels or whatever the case is. Um, so that was kind of the vibe that I was going for in her bedroom. And so I'm going to shut up and let you watch the build and then I'll jump back in with you guys when it's time for us to meet our character.
There's something different about the way we are. Kissing my neck and grabbing my leg, pushing me backwards into your bed. Baby, you are all I need, but I don't want to dive too deep, too deep. I can feel the tension. Another bottle of this wine, I'll be up in your space, loving affection. Day. I 
I'd encourage you to make me stay, but baby, I'm just trying to numb my brain and wrap my head around this whole thing. When you're kissing my neck and grabbing my leg, pushing me backwards into your bed. Till you're loving yourself I need some direction Before we dive into these sheets Maybe on another day I'd encourage you to make me stay But baby, I'm just trying to numb my brain And wrap my head around this whole thing When you're kissing my neck Here we have our sim that we are going to go ahead and remake and I decided that I was gonna do a girl that was a fair complexion I usually go for um, darker complexed <clears throat> sims or I do redheads and this sim I went completely out of my wheelhouse and I'm not exactly sure why I did that but um, as I started making her over, she just kind of had this look about her and she became something that I wasn't even expecting. Like I went in thinking she was going to be um, kind of a brunette and she ended up being kind of like a light blondish brownish hair. I, I don't know. Anyhow, it just ended up being not what I expected. I think she's adorable and she turned out great, but she's not typical of what I generally make. Um, but um, I do think that she turned out really, really cute. And I tried to give her a lot of, um, obviously, um, very like, well, lovey-dovey outfits because it is the sims of love collab so i wanted her to be very valentiney so she has a lot of pinks and reds outfits um and i tried to incorporate that into her um wardrobe because as we know she's looking for love and she's a romantic whimsical dreamer and she's all into romance and things like that so we want or I wanted her to kind of incorporate that into the way she dresses. Um, so as you can see, I'm kind of going through her skin tones here and trying to figure out what it is that I'm wanting her to kind of look like. And I do end up um, settling on a lighter complexion and then giving her some freckles. And then after that, I'm like, okay, so we're gonna go with a fair complected girl this time and with that um, she ended up just getting I don't want to say it's like a strawberry blonde but it's almost like a strawberry blondish kind of hair um, and I don't even know that it would really be considered a strawberry blonde it's it's almost just like a light mousy brown maybe I'll let you guys be the judge of that but I do think she's adorable um, and I did go through a bunch of different hairs trying to figure out what I wanted. Initially, I was gonna go with this hair um, and I did, you know, leave it there for a while and I thought, oh, well, that's kind of cute on her. But then it was in her eyes and it kind of drove me a little bit crazy. So I ended up going back and changing it later. Um, but, um, but I do like how she turned out. I do love all of her outfits. I think she turned out super, super cute. And at the end of the video, there are some photos of her in her bedroom, in her space, so that you guys can kind of get an idea of what she looks like in her space. And um, yeah, I just think that she turned out really, really cute. So I am actually gonna go ahead and shut up and let you guys watch this, but I had a lot of fun 
participating in this collab and a lot of fun making this sim again kind of out of my wheelhouse she's not my typical uh go-to look as far as sims go whenever i'm creating a sim um but sometimes i think that's the fun and the beauty of creating sims and casts um, you go in thinking you're gonna make one kind of sim and then you come out making something completely different and you're kind of shocked by what you've created and and then you're like oh well i've kind of fallen in love with this sim and um and i kind of feel that with her like i look at her and i go oh she's really adorable like maybe i can put her in one of my let's plays or whatever and maybe she will show up in one of my let's plays and she could be like friends with tia or something i don't know but anyhow i um am gonna go ahead and fly for now but thanks so much for watching this festival cast collab of the sims of love and again thanks so much for the opportunity and i will see you guys in the next video have a great valentine's day bye y'all That something that you do to me is chemical. I know, I know, I know it is logical. Something that you do to me. I'm the one with a broken heart waiting for you to come out and save me. I'm a mess, need to untangle. And I don't fall for you, baby. Fall, fall for you, baby. Waiting for you to come out and save me. Fall for you. The room of fight once again, though. Yeah, we said some things we didn't mean, hun. I always start the fight, and you put the fire out. I always say too much, and I get jealous. I never hear you out, and that is selfish. I always start the fight, and you put the fire out. I'm sorry 